Hello, my friends. My name is Sergey Shevelyov. I'm the founder of My Chain International. And today we have a topic, next topic of ABC of T. I often receive a question, uh, Sergey, how you didn't tire it of tea? Because you're doing it pretty long time. For now, it's almost 13 years, actually. Did you lose interest uh, to tea or to the Gunfu Cha or to tea brewing or to tea business? And I want to say something about it. Especially the first thing, the tea is so wide range of different types of tea, varieties, types of brewing, styles of brewing, ways of interacting with tea. And um, so you can discover it for whole life and didn't discover even half or maybe 30% of possible variations or locations or where tea grow, how it harvested, how it's made and whatever. So you can really spend all your life only for researching and learning all the time uh, into tea culture. It's a thing number one. Uh, the second thing is just when you're doing a business, maybe it's the best business you can find for me <laughs> because you can travel, you can all the time be in touch with some natural product and also actually you're doing a great job because I like tea and I see that uh, how changing the life of a lot of people which start interacting with tea because of me or because of some of my activities it's really uh, motivate you to do something around because you see oh great I, I done something which relates to tea and this helps to a lot of people to be more concentrated on things and also it really help with mental health often uh, and it's really healthy drink also and it's good hobby uh, for really big amount of people. The third thing is that uh, as I say it and how to say reason number one that tea is really wide but at the same time it's interact with a lot of different other cultural perspectives like art for example our hand painted uh, pottery like of course pottery ceramic art of course uh, any other culture things music whatever it all can be really related to tea so you can always enjoy a tea and something tea and music tea and uh, maybe aroma uh, natural incense, uh, tea and art, tea and culture, whatever. And it's there is no place that tea, how to say, unsuitable or didn't fit the situation. Tea fit everywhere, uh, any situation. Number four, it's uh, also a very good communicational framework, how we can call it, uh, because yeah, you can talk to anyone and it's join your family, friends, uh, your relatives, your business partners, whatever doesn't matter even if they didn't like tea or they still can drink it with you just for a small ceremonial site or to feel something interesting experience and whatever so it's always you can easily start your day you can easily start your conversation your new relations whatever with the tea it's all the time it's personal but it's yeah you can say it's changed me it's changed me a lot and it's uh, really brings me a big passion a big uh, value and a big understanding that all in the world is connected because tea is something which really connects but not divorce uh, you can see sit uh, with anyone doesn't matter what nation religion whatever language people talking doesn't matter you can drink tea even in silence <laughs> even if you didn't understand it's like it's, it's something uh, which is why I say that it's really close to culture because actually tea culture is a culture, yeah? <laughs> it's the same as music, as art. It didn't need to be translated. It didn't need to be explained even. You just drink tea. And as more you discover the deepness of it, as more you feel that this really brings you a lot, give you a lot. And this is also a very important topic. And maybe reason number six that uh, it's actually the taste and it's actually the aesthetics of the ceremony and uh, of course the variety of teas and the enjoyment of the process because it relaxes you it gives you some of your own personal time if you drink alone or you know, as a told like communicational framework uh, but the main thing that the tastes and uh, aesthetics gourmet feelings about tea uh, this uh, sommelier enjoyment all the fragrances aroma aftertaste uh, whatever it also brings you a lot i actually love the taste i love tea as it is and i like to discover 
and you can never stop <laughs> in it because as I said in the beginning it's it can be it can, it can flow through all your life and you never be tired <laughs> if you're going deep uh, so this is why I'm all the time doesn't matter I'm traveling I go in somewhere I all the time take my pots or Gundao Bay or Kai Wine, whatever I'm not too focused on exact style or exact pottery I like to collect something so all the time my bag with me <laughs> doesn't matter I never use only, only these Gunfu glass pots big cups uh, European style of brewing never I prefer not to don't have tea than, than have it like that doesn't matter even I'm not filming now I will still drink it like that <laughs> because now we have been in Thailand and we're traveling for also tea, tea destinations here so yeah it's very uh, for me it's important uh, to drink it this way to drink it more attended more presented uh, and also keep uh, willing actually this style a Gunfucha style so this is why <laughs> I hope you enjoy this video and let you enjoy your tea. Uh, have a nice day. Wish you all the best.